Now that I've imported in the video and the dialogue stems into my template, I'm ready to expand on my markers to do the preparations for putting sound effects into my session. So a few things we need to check before we start. We need to make sure we see our markers ruler up here at the top. And how we know is we see these little diamond shaped markers, if we have any of those. In my case, I have one set up for the two pop and one for the first frame of action. The second thing that I wanna double check is I need to make sure that my keyboard focus, my Arizona button is set up in the upper right hand corner of my edit window. And then the third thing is I want to make sure that my nudge and grid values are set to time code and set to one frame. This is something that I went over in another video. So earlier we did an exercise where we created a list of sound effects and then we divided it into things that we would go out and do customized recordings of, things that we would pull from a library, and then things that we would do with Foley. We're gonna use this in conjunction with our markers to prepare for placing sound effects into our Pro Tools session. So the first thing we need to do is we need to navigate around one frame at a time. Because our markers have to be as accurate as absolutely possible when we're placing our sounds. So on any keyboard, you can use the greater than or less than keys, also known as the comma and the period keys to advance things one nudge value forward or back. Um, if you have an extended keyboard, you can also hit the plus or minus keys to navigate a frame forward or a frame back. Then when you wanna actually create a marker, the only way you can do it with a keyboard, the only sure way you can do this is be on an extended keypad on the right side and hit the enter key. Do not hit the, what on a Mac is called a return key, which is on the main keyboard. This will take you back to the beginning of the session. It does something different. If you happen to have a, a Mac compact keyboard here, then you can hit the FN key on the left side of the keyboard and hit the return key and then create a marker that way. I'll show you a way to do it with a mouse though. The other way you could create a marker is in the markers ruler. There's this little plus here. And once I have a location where I want to create a marker, I can just hit the plus symbol, which is the add marker memory location in the marker ruler, and it will create a new marker. 